So to salvage this pan, first things first, we've got to wash it. And I mean seriously wash it. First, a little copper tool boy. Second, a little stainless steel scrubby pad. After that, if it's needed, is a super aggressive Scotch-Brite. These are actually ones that um, you can find that are designed to clean your grill. There. And then we'll need our flaxseed oil and two folds paper towels. So let's get started. All right, so to start washing this pan, what I wanna do is get some hot water going. Go ahead and throw some soap in there. This guy's in pretty bad shape, so I'm gonna start with the most abrasive piece first. You can see by those suds, all that rust and carbon definitely coming up. All right, so that's with the coarse scotch bright. You can see there, the rust is removed. That's nice silver pieces. I'm actually gonna go one more round just with the stainless scrubbing. Now I'm just gonna wash the regular sponge just to get any last bit of residue off. So the pieces I started off with to clean with the, starting at the copper, I mean a sponge is gonna be the least abrasive, then the copper, then the stainless steel, then the Scotch-Brite. This pan was in pretty bad shape, so I went straight to the Scotch-Brite. If your pan's not that bad, you might be able to start off just with the copper. Uh, <clears throat> the big, the goal is to just get anything, any buildup that's not seasoning. There's some residual seasoning on this pan. If that's on there, that's great. You can see the back, back is nice and seasoned. Um, in here, up on the walls, that's seasoning but all the carbon and the rust is now clean. So we're starting off with a nice, pure, silver, clean piece of steel. So we're gonna take this over to the stove and do the seasoning process. All right, so we're back on the stove top. Wash the pan, nice and clean. We're gonna turn it on. So this point here, all I'm trying to do is dry the pan. You don't want to add any oil to it until all that water is evaporating. All right, oil's evaporated. Squeeze a flaxseed oil. Take your first bit of paper towels. Wipe that around. Nice light coat. 
I'm gonna save this rag that's got the most oil that I wiped on it for the for a few wipes through the process. I'm gonna take a fresh paper towel and remove any excess oil that's on the pan right now. All right, that's got a nice light coat. Put it on like a medium high heat and wait, just watch it happen. That silver, we're definitely gonna notice first. That golden brown, golden, then a darker brown to a nice shiny black. As I'm watching the process happen, it starts to smoke. I'll take the original paper towel I had that's got the most flaxseed oil residue on it and a couple of wipes through that process. I'm not gonna add any more oil to the pan. Pan's getting hot, starting to smoke up. I got a little bit of golden action happening down there. I'm gonna take that rag, just a nice quick sort of swish. On the pans that just have the loop handles, these will get hot on the stove top, so keep a little uh, dish towel handy, so that way you can hold, be able to hold the pan still while you're wiping it. you guys can see that color starting to change in there. Another extra little wipe. All right, we're about five minutes into this process. Definitely starting to get some golden action going on. minutes but you can see the color that silver is definitely going away so just working on the heat rising at the sidewalls here so you can get that seasoning That's got a nice dark brown, black tint to the whole thing. I'm just gonna give it one more quick wipe. Let that smoke stop. Get to a point where it's smoked off. Again, I'm not adding any more oil other than the oil that's on the rag and just quick little swishes. All right guys, that's pretty much brand new pan at this point. Uh, what I'm gonna do is still super hot. I'm gonna let it just cool naturally. Uh, and then we can take a better look. But as you can see, in about 15, 20 minutes, we gave a worn out pan total rebirth.